In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about one of the latest, biggest beauty trends, the silk pillowcase. I have been told by dermatologists, hairstylists, beauty bloggers, doctors, to buy a, a silk pillowcase. It's good for your hair, it's good for your skin. Uh, especially being a blonde, I've heard tons and tons of reviews on silk pillowcases for blondes because our hair breaks off easier than a brunette um, and silk pillowcases are just supposed to be more friendly for that type of stuff. So I went out and I bought some. I've had them for about six months now and I wanna tell you guys my experience with them. So these are the ones that I bought on uh, Amazon. They weren't very expensive. I don't know if the thread count matters um, because I was just experimenting with them to see if I liked them. I didn't wanna drop all this money. So I just stuck with these easy ones from Amazon uh, and I just got two. I have about six pillows on my bed, but I just got two because I just wanted to start slow and ease my way into it. Uh, so night one, my husband couldn't stand, it, couldn't stand his. So he was like, get this away from me. And we switched him back to his uh, regular cotton pillowcase. Um, I wanted to stick it through a little bit longer, but here's what I ended up feeling. Um, I don't know again if it was the time of year that mattered. So I got mine in July of last year of 2020. And um, so it was obviously the summer. So we had the AC blasting in the house, but it was really hot and muggy outside. So going to bed, it's weird. I, I initially started off really, really liking them. Um, I felt, thought it was different. I did notice my skin clear up a little bit. The other thing that I sometimes find with a uh, cotton pillowcase is that if it wrinkles while you're sleeping, then there's wrinkles on your face when you wake up. So, I, and then that's just annoying because you have to just wait to get rid of them. You can ice it, uh, but oftentimes it's just time um, that has to make them go away. So. I, I, I first off started to like my silk pillowcase. I did notice my skin get a little bit better. I didn't notice a ton about my hair. Um, I, I did, I, I kind of felt that the, the silk pillowcase created a little bit of static actually. Again, I don't know if that's because of the AC going in my house and it being very dry um, or my hair just being really dry, but I did notice a little bit of static. As the months went on, so I'd say month one, I was like sold on this pillowcase, really, really hooked. But as the months went on, I started to notice that it got a little bit almost like damp and sticky. So I don't know about you guys, but I tend to heat up when I sleep. I love to sleep in blankets, but I still do um, get warmer when I sleep. So I started noticing uh, the pillowcase getting almost damp. Um, and, and kind of like sticking to my face a little bit. So sometimes I'd maybe wake up at like four o'clock in the morning just to like get water or, or whatever. And um, I would like peel myself off the pillowcase and it was like kind of uncomfortable. And um, again, like kind of damp and wet. And that was like something I really, really didn't like. So I was like, well, maybe it was just this one night. Let's push through. So I'm in month two now. And now I'm noticing that the pillowcase uh, because it's maybe it's a little bit big for my pillow, but it was um, not really sticking to the pillowcase. So I'd wake up and it would be like half off, and then it was doing those wrinkles that I was just telling you guys about. Um, so then I was getting the wrinkles on my face. And so now I'm waking up, it's like damp a little bit. Um, I have wrinkles on my face, and I was noticing static. And again, I found it weird because it's, it's strange. If you take a cotton pillowcase and rub it against your head, like your hair is going to be out to here but I was finding that the same thing was happening with the silk pillowcase. So I was like, I don't know what's happening. So then I go to month three. I'm still pushing through. I really wanna see this pillowcase. I want it to work, okay? Um, then with the dampness, I started kind of noticing that the opposite was happening with my skin. At first it cleared up and then it kind of was doing the reverse. So I was noticing like just on the side that I was sleeping, I was kind of breaking out a little bit more. And I was like, this is literally the opposite of what A, the pillowcase was advertising and B, what I was trying to avoid. So I was like, what the hell is going on? So I tried different detergent. I tried washing it differently. I tried washing it in cold water. I tried washing the pillowcases more often because uh, maybe sometimes like, you know, you just use them too much. And for me personally, it wasn't working out. And I finally, finally, after a couple of months, had to say goodbye to my silk pillowcase and I went back to my cotton one. And I was kind of upset because I'm like, damn it, I really want this to work. It sounded like it was gonna fix all of my beauty woes um, you know, help my hair, help my skin, but truly and honestly, I, I went back to my cotton one and I have not regretted it. I haven't gotten that like damp grossness. 
Um, my skin is kind of like back to how it usually is. So all in all guys, I am not on the silk pillowcase beauty trend. Um, with that being said, if I have to try a higher thread count or a more expensive pillowcase, more higher quality, maybe that's the trick. But yeah, in terms of like sort of the Amazon silk pillowcase, I wasn't a fan. Unless maybe you live in a drier climate, if you're a West Coaster and you don't have a lot of mug in the air, I'm on the East Coast and it's like so muggy in the, in the summertime and then like the driest ever in the wintertime. So that could maybe have something to do with it. Um, but so just keep those tips in mind and keep in mind, I guess my experience, if you're trying to set yourself. The other thing that you could do is like really just invest in the cheap ones from Amazon that I did, that I got, um, and then just try for yourself and see what happens. Um, yeah, again, husbands and boyfriends, I don't think are a fan of these at all. My husband was like, get this away from me. Um, but anyway, try it for yourself, see if you like it. But all in all, I am not for this beauty trend. I am not for the silk pillowcases. I didn't find them to work very well for me and I am on to the next thing to discover to help my uh, broken blonde hair um, and obviously keep my skin hydrated and youthful looking. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this helps you. Uh, please follow me on Instagram at Heather Laduca and be sure to subscribe and like this video for more reviews. Bye from me and Lexi.